There are Taliban fighters right now carrying American weapons. They're wearing American fatigues, the full kit of gear. How is that advancing America's national security interests? Well, Peter, I think my or my colleague Jake Sullivan spoke to a version of this uh, last week. Um, but let me tell you, uh, let me reiterate some of what he said. Uh, when the president made this decision uh, to bring our men and women home from Afghanistan who were serving. Uh, he knew uh, he made that decision not lightly. He made the decision uh, with a clear assessment from his national security team about what the impacts could be. We have taken steps over the past few months to retrograde materials, to bring materials home, to make them not available uh, to the Taliban. We have taken those steps from our military. But our, uh, our uh, choices at hand, the President's choices at hand, were either to equip the Afghan National Security Forces with the materials and the equipment and the weapons they needed to fight or not. He made the decision to equip them with the weapons to fight. And we will continue to take steps to retrograde our materials and equipment. But uh, does the President have a sense that most of the criticism is not of leaving Afghanistan, it's the way that he has ordered it to happen, by pulling the troops before getting these Americans who are now stranded? Does he have a sense of that? First of all, I think it's irresponsible to say Americans are stranded. They are not. We are committed to bringing Americans who want to come home home. We are in touch with them via phone, via text, via email, via any way that we can possibly reach Americans to get them home if they want to return home. There are no Americans stranded is the White House's official position on what's happening in Afghanistan right I'm just calling you out for saying that we are stranding Americans in Afghanistan when I said, when we have been very clear that we are not leaving Americans who want to return home. We are going to bring them home. And I think that's important for the American public to hear and understand. Okay. And then following up on what somebody asked, Jake, the President likes to say, America is back. But his policies have Americans getting beat up by the Taliban and Afghans handing babies over barbed wire fences. Is that what he meant when he said America is back? What the President meant is that we are going to continue to lead in the world, including being the leaders in evacuating not just our Afghan partners, not just American citizens, but now also our allies. And we have done that by evacuating approximately 42,000 people over the last month. That is Americans leading. That is our men and women in our military leading on the ground, securing the airport after the Afghans fleed and didn't secure the airport, and ensuring that we are taking care of our partners as we promised to.